Hokey dokey, we're going to do a housing bubble update today, October 1st. Sorry if you're watching this in November or later on because my channel is not discovered. Uh, man, it's not my fault. It's uh, YouTube algorithms. I got to put up a video every day or two videos every day in order to uh, be listed on anything. So anyway, our first video, I'll link it up here. The housing bubble today video. Go ahead and watch that one. If you haven't watched this, this will be an October update. Definitely leave a comment. If I missed anything, subscribe right here and we'll go into it. So in the last video, the main thing we discussed was foreclosures as of October they're increasing what do you know they couldn't foreclose on anybody for the last six to seven months hey there you go you can go ahead and live in your home for free people let all the uh, investors argue over houses that are for sale normally instead of buying foreclosures so that we can have a big old real estate bubble all right you're gonna see uh it's my prediction i keep in mind i uh cannot tell you what to do i don't know if this is going to happen or not it's just the likelihood of it um, you're going to see time on market throughout the month of october increase typically winter is a nice slowdown time for real estate and we would have already seen a decrease except without foreclosures everybody's had to buy normal houses so that's all the inventory there was We'll go over to the chart now of uh, what foreclosures are doing, and uh, you'll kind of see what I'm talking about. And here you go. This is a chart of the housing delinquency rates all the way back to 2006 right here. And uh, going up through our housing bubble in the great financial crisis in 2008 through 9. Check it out. 10.606% delinquency. Guess where we're at now? <laughs> well, there you go. 8.22%. You see how long it took this to build up right here? It took years. And here it took, oh, I don't know, one quarter to shoot through the roof. So what do you think the likelihood is of this next chart or next uh, candle going up to here? You know, it'll probably be like, I don't know, 12 and a half percent. I would say there's a higher likelihood of it being up here than being down here. And we'll clear that out of there and look at this right here. So you got this candle 8.22% uh, delinquent. So if it goes up, what's that going to mean? That means eventually homes start getting foreclosed on. Look at that mortgage payments past due 90 plus days. Look at how small these candles are right here. Look at how tiny those are. Look at this one. Oh my goodness. It's like four times as many homes delinquent past 90 days. That is crazy. That is insane. That's going to cause foreclosure fun for everybody. There's going to be a massive bubble bursting and it will be awesome. Anyway, beware of that bubble. Like we said, and you're going to see time on market go up as soon as those foreclosures hit the market. We're seeing more and more pre foreclosures come on, at least on Zillow. And uh, it's going to look something like this chart here. This is the chart we uh, made for the housing bubble today video. Uh, August 2020 is when we made that video. We're now over here in October 2020. Uh, and you're going to see uh, hopefully more likelihood of this happening than of uh, it going up this way to the roof of this house. So yeah, you're going to likely see a high drop off coming on the market here over the next six to nine months to where it goes off the chart onto our next slide below us. Okie dokie. So from that chart we just looked at, it was the delinquency rate and how it's going up. Uh, Q2 had a huge increase, possibly the largest quarter over quarter increase in history. And uh, it's at 8%. For Q4, uh, it's not uh, definite, and I definitely can't make any predictions. I'm not a fortune teller. I'm not a crystal ball. Uh, but I would say the likelihood is that that will continue to rise as more and more people throw their mortgages into forbearance and cannot be foreclosed on. What will end up happening in 2021? This is a likelihood. Again, it's not definite. Uh, think about March, April, and May 2020. In those months, if a home went into forbearance, they had one year worth of forbearance that they could get. Some of those houses are now coming out of forbearance because the homeowners did not continue it. 
but they're able to continue it for up to one year under current federal law. So in March, April, and May 2021, what do you think the likelihood is if every house that was put into forbearance in March, April, and May 2020 comes out of forbearance? Um, you can answer yourself on that one. I really don't think you need me to say. I'll say it. Um, they're going to go ahead and get foreclosed on because there's no way those homeowners are going to be able to make up one year of payments if that's the option they were forced into by their servicer. Their servicer may have told them you have to pay the lump sum for your missed payments up front. If that's what they elected, then there's no way for them to make literally a year's worth of payments uh, if within one month of coming out of forbearance. Then they'll get foreclosed on. How long does foreclosing take? Uh, one to six months, depending what the bank wants to do. So in uh, March, April, and May 2021, you'll see all these homes go into pre-foreclosure. And then June, July, August, you're going to have a huge swath of the country covered in foreclosed properties. It's going to be insane. There's going to be properties out there that haven't had payments made on them in over a year. And people are just going to walk away from them like they did in 2008 and 2009. I watched it happen. I watched my neighbors just walk away from their homes after not making the payments for three to six to nine months. Eventually, they got foreclosed on and just left. They didn't care. It was gone. The bank could have it, they said. They were just happy they didn't have to deal with it anymore. That will happen in 2021. I can't say it will happen. I'd say there is a high likelihood that that will happen in 2021. Keep an eye out for that. So that's your update for today, October 1st, 2020. Go ahead and like this video somewhere down below my cursor here and subscribe. It'll be up here and we'll put another video up right here for you. All right, y'all take her easy out there and good luck.